Pinocchio. Chapter One, the puppet. Geppetto finds a piece of wood in the forest. He takes it home. He begins to cut it, but a voice in the wood says, "Don't hurt me." Geppetto says. I will make a boy puppet. I will call you Pinocchio. Geppetto makes the face of the puppet. He makes the eyes. They look at him. He makes the nose. It grows very long. He makes the mouth. It laughs at him. He makes the arms and legs. The puppet runs out the door. Geppetto chases the puppet. A policeman on the street sees Geppetto chasing the puppet. He grabs the puppet by its long nose. He gives the puppet back to Geppetto. Geppetto is very angry. He says, "Just wait until we get home, Pinocchio." The policeman thinks Pinocchio is a little boy. He thinks Geppetto will hurt the boy. He makes Geppetto let Pinocchio go. Then the policeman takes Geppetto to jail. Chapter Two: The Cricket. Pinocchio runs home. He goes into the empty house. Pinocchio sits on the floor. He feels something in his stomach. He is hungry. He looks all around the house, but he can't find any food. Then he hears a noise. Pinocchio asks, "Who is there?" A cricket says, "It is me. I want to tell you something." Pinocchio asks, "What is it?" The cricket says, "Little boys who do not listen to their parents get into a lot of trouble." Pinocchio is mad at the cricket. He throws a hammer at it, and the cricket runs away. Pinocchio sits by the fire. It is warm, so he puts his feet up. Soon he falls asleep. During the night, the fire slowly burns his wooden feet to ashes. In the morning, Geppetto comes home. He is sad to see Pinocchio's legs with no feet. He makes two new feet for Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio says, "I want to go to school, father." Then I can be a good son, but I don't have an A B C book. So Geppetto sells his coat to buy a book for Pinocchio. Pinocchio.
Pinocchio is very happy. Chapter 3 The Puppet Show On the way to school the next day, Pinocchio sees a puppet show. He sells his ABC book to buy a ticket for the show. The puppets on the stage see Pinocchio. They ask him to come on to the stage. The audience is angry. Fire Eater, the man who owns the puppet show, comes out. What is going on? He yells. He sees Pinocchio and says, You are making trouble. Stay on the wall and we'll talk about this tonight. Then Fire Eater hangs Pinocchio on a nail on the wall. That night, Fire Eater cooks dinner. But he needs more wood for the fire. He looks at Pinocchio and says, I can use you in my fire. Pinocchio remembers the night his feet burned to ashes. He begs for his life. Please, don't put me in the fire! Pinocchio cries. Fire Eater has pity and says, All right, I'll use another puppet in my fire. But Pinocchio is now friends with the other puppets. He does not want to see one of them burned. He says, Please, sir, don't hurt any of them. I will go into the fire. Fire Eater says, You are very brave, little puppet. Here are five gold coins. In the morning, take them with you and go home. I won't burn any puppets tonight. I will eat my dinner half cooked. And the next morning, Pinocchio starts for home. Chapter 4 Robbers The puppet walks all day. That night, Pinocchio meets two robbers. Pinocchio is afraid. He quickly puts his gold coins in his mouth. Give us your money, says one of them. Give us your money, says the other. Pinocchio can't speak because he has the coins in his mouth. The robbers pick up Pinocchio and take him into the woods. They find a big tree. One robber says, We will hang you here until you give us your money. They hang Pinocchio in the tree, but he kicks to free himself for hours and hours. Finally, the robbers get bored. One robber says, We'll come back in the morning. Then the robbers leave. Far away, Pinocchio can see a small white house between the trees. Pinocchio takes the coins out of his mouth. He puts them in his pocket. Then he yells for help. At the house, a fairy with blue hair looks out a window. 
she sees Pinocchio hanging in the tree. She brings the puppet back to her house and takes care of him until morning. Chapter 5 The Blue Fairy Pinocchio tells the fairy his story. She asks him about his gold coins. They are in his pocket, but he lies to her. He says, I lost them. Then Pinocchio's nose grows very long. The fairy says, You're lying, silly boy. Lying makes your nose grow. Pinocchio's nose is too long. It hits things when he moves his head. The fairy calls some woodpeckers. They make Pinocchio's nose short again. Pinocchio tells the fairy, I love you. The fairy says, I love you too. Live here as my little brother. Go and bring your father. Pinocchio says he will and leaves the fairy's house. On the road, Pinocchio meets a fox and a cat. They were the robbers, but Pinocchio does not know it. The fox hears the gold coins in the puppet's pocket. The fox has an idea. The fox says, When a person plants a coin in the ground, a money tree grows. Pinocchio says, A money tree? Really? The fox says, Let me show you. The fox tells Pinocchio to dig a hole and put his coins in it. Then Pinocchio fills the hole with dirt and puts some water on it. Now, says the fox, go away and wait for 20 minutes. Then come back to see your money tree. Pinocchio goes away. He is very excited. But when he returns, there is no tree, and he can't find his coins in the ground. Pinocchio goes to a town close to there. He tells a policeman that a fox and a cat tricked him. I have no money, Pinocchio tells the policeman. You have no money, the policeman says. He takes Pinocchio by the arm. People with no money make trouble. You must go to jail. Pinocchio stays in jail for many months. Then, during a festival, everyone in jail is set free. So Pinocchio sets off for home.